morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, Dr. Sean Conley, physician to the president. Uh, this morning, I'd like to start by uh, first sharing that the president and first family, first lady, extremely grateful for the enormous outpouring of support and prayers that the whole world and uh, country have been providing and sharing. I'd like to thank Colonel Andrew Barr and all the medical and support staff here at Walter Reed for their tireless efforts, providing everything and anything the medical team, the president, and I could need. This morning, the president is doing very well. Behind me are some of the members of uh, the president's medical team, uh, whom I'd like to introduce. Uh, Dr. Sean Dooley, pulmonary critical care. Dr. Brian Garibaldi, pulmonary critical care. Dr. Robert Browning, pulmonary critical care. Dr. Jason Blaylock, infectious disease. Dr. Wes Campbell, infectious disease. Dr. John Hodgson, anesthesia. Major Kurt Klein, Army nurse. Commander Megan Nasworthy, Navy nurse. Lieutenant Juliana Lev Levopa, Navy nurse. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Commander John Shea, clinical pharmacist. And not present with us are Lieutenant Beth Carter, Lieutenant Maureen Meehan, both Navy nurses, and Dr. Jesse Schoenow, Director of our Executive Medicine Program. As reported yesterday, consultation with this group, I recommended we bring the President up to Walter Reed as a precautionary me measure to provide state-of-the-art monitoring and any care that he may need. Just 72 hours into the diagnosis now, the first week of COVID, and in particular days 7 to 10 are the most critical in determining the likely course of this illness. At this time, the team and I are extremely happy with the progress the President has made. Thursday, he had a mild cough and some nasal congestion and fatigue, all of which are now resolving and improving. At this time, I'd like to bring up Dr. Dooley to discuss some of the specifics of the President's care. Thank you and uh, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Sean Dooley, as uh, Dr. Conley mentioned. I'll start off by uh, mentioning what, a, what an incredible, uh, how incredibly proud I am of our medical team assembled behind me uh, and the honor it's been to care for the, the President over these last uh, 24 hours here at Walter Reed. He's receiving outstanding multidisciplinary care, uh, the state of the science uh, for coronavirus infection. We are monitoring him very closely uh, for any evidence of complications from either the coronavirus illness or the therapies that we are prescribing to uh, make him better. We have monitored his cardiac function, uh, his kidney function, his liver function, all of those are normal. And the president this morning is not on oxygen, uh, not having difficulty breathing or walking around uh, the White House medical unit upstairs. He's in exceptionally good spirits. And in fact, uh, as we were completing our multidisciplinary rounds this morning, uh, the quote he, he left us with was, I feel like I could walk out of here today. And, and that was a very encouraging comment from the president. Moving forward, I'll, I'll go ahead and introduce Dr. Garibaldi, who will talk about some of our therapeutics and the plan for a uh, plan of care for today. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dooley. And I'd like to echo the sentiment from the entire team, what an honor and a privilege it is to be part of this multidisciplinary unit to care for the president. Um, about 48 hours ago, the president received uh, a special antibody therapy directed against the coronavirus, and we're working very closely with the company to monitor him uh, in terms of uh, that outcome. Um, yesterday evening, he received his first dose of IV remdesivir, and our plan is to continue a five-day treatment course for remdesivir. And the big plan for today, since he's in such great spirits and doing well, is to encourage him to eat, to drink, to stay hydrated, to be up out of bed, and to be working and doing the thing, things that he needs to do uh, to get well. Um, and I'll refer Dr. Connolly to any, any questions. Thanks, Brian. It's important to note the President's been fever-free for over 24 hours. Uh, we remain cautiously optimistic, um, but he's doing great. Um, with that, oh, one other note. It should be clear that uh, he's got plenty of work to get done from the Chief of Staff, and he's doing it. Um, with that, if there's a couple questions about the President's health uh, in the last couple days. Sir, could you tell us the President's uh, oxygen saturation level, please? Yeah, so the, the last uh, saturation that we had up walking around, he was uh, about 96 percent. And he was receiving no K 
has not received any supplemental oxygen? He's not on oxygen right now. That's right. He has not received any at all? He's, he's not needed any, but any uh, this morning, today at all. That's right. Do you, no, he's, have, do you have an estimated date when he might be discharged? Uh, well, I don't want to put a hard date on that. Um, he's doing so well, but the, the, with a known course of the illness, day seven to 10, we get really concerned about the inflammatory phase, phase two. Um, given that we provided some of these uh, uh, advanced therapy so early on the course, a little bit earlier than, than most of the patients we know and follow, um, it's hard to tell where he is uh, on that course. And so uh, every day we're evaluating, does he need to be here? Uh, what does he need? Uh, and where is he going? the probability that he will need supplemental oxygen going forward? Uh, I don't want to put a uh, percentage on that, but, but right now all indicators are that, uh, uh, that he'll remain off of oxygen uh, going forward. And in terms of like blood clots, pneumonia, bacterial infection, what do you see as the risk on that front? Uh, well, we know that all of them are risks associated with this condition. Um, uh, he is receiving all of the uh, standard of care and beyond uh, per routine, you know, international COVID protocols. Um, so uh, we're monitoring for all of that, um, but at the moment, there's no cause for concern. You said he was he's fever free now. What was his fever when he had one, sir? Uh, I'd rather not give any specific numbers, but he but he did have a fever uh, Thursday into Friday, and since Friday morning, he's had none. Okay. And what was the date? On top of the other antibodies. I'm sorry. Why remdesivir on top of the antibodies? Uh, so remdesivir works a little bit differently than the antibodies. We're maximizing uh, all aspects of his care, uh, attacking uh, this virus, you know, multi-pronged uh, approach. Uh, as the president, uh, I didn't want to hold anything back. If there was any possibility that it would add value to his care and expedite his return, um, I wanted to take it. And uh, the team agreed. And that's what we proceeded. Doctor, what was the date of the president's last negative test? I, I'm not going to get into all the testing going back, um, but but he and all the staff routine uh, routinely uh, are tested, um, and so. Doctor, what is the uh, PPE protocol for uh, President Trump receiving visitors and uh, doctors? It's the same as any hospital has. Um, we have an area that's uh, that clean that you, you put your equipment on, and then beyond that, uh, everybody is fully gowned up, masks, gloves. Um, we're protecting ourselves and him. And see, have you done a screen? Has there been any sign of any lung damage whatsoever? We are, we are following all of that. We do daily ultrasounds. We do daily lab work. The team is tracking all of that. Has there been has any sign of damage? Sir? I'm not going to go into specifics on what the findings of if, any if of that are. Can we just put you down on one thing? Has he ever been on supplemental oxygen? He right now he is not on I understand. oxygen. I know you keep saying right, right now, but should we read into the fact that he had been previously? Yesterday and today he was not on oxygen. So he has not been on it during this his COVID treatment. He's not he's not on oxygen right now. <laughs> has hydroxychloroquine been considered as a viable treatment option for the president? Uh, we discussed it. He asked about it. Uh, he's not on it now. And, and doctor, what uh, symptoms has he also experienced? Difficulty breathing? No, no, he has not. Never did. He had a little cough. He had the fever. More than anything, he's felt run down. Who is handling contact tracing? Is that the White House or CDC? The, uh, the White, House, uh, uh, White House Medical Unit, in conjunction with, uh, you know, in collaboration with CDC and local state and health departments, are, are conducting all contact tracing per CDC guidelines. When was the positive diagnosis made? Uh, you said 72 hours. That would put that Wednesday. Yeah, uh, so Thursday afternoon, uh, following, uh, uh, following the news of a, a close contact is when we, we repeated testing um, and given kind of clinical indications, had a little bit more concern, and that's when that late that night uh, we got the PCR confirmation that, uh, that he was. Is there any clarity on how he became infected? Uh, not going to go into that. Um, as far as his care, it's, it's irrelevant. Or when he became infected? It's yeah, we're not going to go into that. Uh, we're just tracking his uh, clinical course and providing the best care we can. Will President Trump have to stay at Walter Reed to get uh, the five-day remdesivir treatment? Um, we discussed that right now. Uh, if he needs all five days, uh, that will likely be the course. Um, but again, every day we're reviewing with the team uh, his needs for being here. And, uh, and as soon as he gets to the point where uh, it's not a requirement, he may still need some care, but if we can provide that downtown at the house, 
um, then, then we will transition at that point, as long as it's uh, safe and appropriate and the team agrees. In addition to his weight, does he have any other risk factors that make him more at risk for sort of a severe case? Well, uh, not particularly. I mean, he's, he's 74, he's male, um, and he is slightly overweight. Um, other than that, he's very healthy. Uh, his cholesterol is great, his blood pressure is great, he's not on medication for that. Um, he's up and active. You saw the, uh, his activity, the days leading up to, the long hours and everything else. You know, he's, he's able to handle it. Can the, you the provide problem. other vitals like heart rate, blood pressure, and temperature? Um, so his, his heart rate is in the uh, 70s, the 80s. Uh, his blood pressure has remained where it's, where it's historically been during our physicals. Uh, you know, 110 to 120s to stop. He's great. It's never budged. Uh, I've had no concerns there. So why was the decision made to transfer him here? Because he's the president of the United States. And obviously, if doctors have found that the prone position is helpful for COVID. Has he been in that at all? No, we actually, he asked about that. He did, uh, Thursday into Friday. Um, he's been briefed by the task force and all the scientists for months. And he brought that up, you know, as we were discussing his cough. And at that time, his oxygen levels were OK. And we didn't feel like we needed to do it. We came up here and discussed it with the team as well. Um, we consider all options, but he has not needed any of that. Why wasn't the First Lady admitted as well? Uh, the First Lady's doing great, thanks for asking. Uh, she has no indication for hospitalization, advanced therapy. She's convalescing at home. Uh, thank you. I'm going to try to pin you down one more time. I know you said there was no oxygen yeah, yesterday. Not, today. Yeah, does that, yeah does he's that not on oxygen but did he receive uh, today. Any on, did he receive and, any on Thursday? And he's, what's today, Saturday? Today's Saturday. Uh, no, no, Thursday. Okay, so no Thursday, we, no Friday, no Saturday. That's fine. So that, that was why we were confused. Thursday, no oxygen, none at this moment. Yeah, and yesterday with the team, uh, while, while we were all here, he was not on oxygen. So has the president actually been admitted as a patient to this hospital? The president is a patient at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. <laughs> is he on any steroids? Steve? Press, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you.